And healing takes many, many forms. One doctor in Bangladesh created miracles when he repurposed a simple plastic shampoo bottle and used it to save infants suffering from pneumonia. In many other developed countries, hospitals use low-flow oxygen, a low-cost alternative to ventilators to help patients breathe. It is a recommendation by the World Health Organization. But as Dr. Mohamed Chisti saw in his first night as an intern, the success rate of these methods is very low. Let's bring in Dr. Mohamed Chisti of the International Center for Diarrheal Disease Research in Bangladesh. He joins us from Dhaka via Skype. And Dr. Chisti, thank you so much for joining us. Um, the WHO says that pneumonia is the leading cause of death in children around the world. You know, we know that first world hospitals, they can afford expensive treatment and ventilators. But how much does that type of treatment, how much does a ventilator cost and how much does your device using a simple plastic bottle cost to make? Actually, mechanical ventilator is highly expensive. It is uh, um, um, cost at as high as $15,000. Um, uh, but um, our device only costs less than uh, $2. Incredible. It costs just two US dollars. You're just using a, yeah. a shampoo bottle. Um, and, and I know that you've introduced this plastic bottle designed to hospitals there in Bangladesh. Has it worked? Have you have you been able to save lives? We had a trial for two years, which has been shown that it was associated with 75% reduction of mortality in childhood severe pneumonia and hypoxemia in oh. under five children compared to WHO standard oxygen. This is incredible. It's a remarkable innovation. It appears to be working. You've discovered this simple but very inexpensive and effective way to treat pneumonia in children by using, again, a plastic shampoo bottle. Um, how does it work? Mainly works that you know that uh, when a patient takes oxygen through nasal prong, then uh, he or she exhales air. That air um, usually passes through that uh, water-filled shampoo bottle, and it produces bubble. That bubble gives the back pressure, and by this back pressure, lung remains open. And you know that in case of pneumonia, there is loss of lung volume, and that back pressure uh, recruits that lost volume that has already been lost during pneumonia. As a result, oxygen can easily diffuse into the blood. So this is why it usually works. Then respiratory uh, distress become ease uh, by the uh, fact that it actually reserves the functional residual capacity which actually needs to breathe easily for a kid. And, and understand, you've been sharing your innovation to the world. Do, do other hospitals in developing countries have plans to use your design? Yeah, already government of Ethiopia and Nepal expressed their interest, and we have already started work in, in Ethiopia uh, in 20 hospitals. And hopefully, by the next two months, we are going to start implement uh, there, and it might take two years. We have already visited those 20 hospitals, and they are perfect for the uh, implementation there because uh, the pneumonia-related death in Ethiopia is also enormous. Mm, the idea is spreading, and that is very good news. Dr. Chisti, thank you for joining me. Thank you.